I just took it out as one piece. The van that I'm working on at home, we had a snowstorm about three weeks ago and the roads were real wet. So I'm thinking that this piece got wet. Sealed. But there it is in the fender. An awful place to have uh, electronic piece in your vehicle, especially right at the wheel well. Well, I got the wire off. They're all eight millimeter. Everything, even the uh, the brackets are eight millimeter. Just have to look behind and see if it, there anything is rusted through, because there's lots of vehicles in the uh, auto wrecker here. Look at that. The aluminum has disappeared right here, and it's sealed itself right to the frame. Looks like a lot of rust on this one, so I might just bypass on this one. Look at that, there's a hole in there. This one here. Look at that. Just rusted completely out. And that's what I suspect on the one that we're driving. Got a hole in it like that and water got in. I don't even have to take the plastic, uh, the rubber off. This one looks way better even though it's been one year newer than the last one. So the other ones are all O2s, this is O1. This is very promising, this one. And easy to get at. Well, I got the, uh, and I'm bolted. See if there's any holes lurking underneath. I got these two uh, Phillips screws take off. See, I got the tire on. What I'm going to try is I'm going to try to do it without taking the tire off. Got one clip there, and I know there's one back there. Maybe if I turn the tire the other way. See what I did is I just undid one and I just pushed it back. And there's the control module, eight millimeter. I should be able to get my hand in here. And that's how I have the tire. Okay, I'll unbolt it. To know if this other control module, the one I just got from the auto racker works, I'm just gonna hang it in here, but leave the other one in place because I noticed one of the bolts is starting to bust off. So I want to make sure that it is the uh, control module that's gone in the van before I start snapping all the bolts off. So I'm just going to zip tie it. See I got one zip tie on it now. So I'll just put another zip tie on. Right here to there so it doesn't shake around. And then I'll take it for a good test drive and see if it is the control module. Well, the, the module I took off the auto wrecker has got to be reset, but I'm going to turn the key on and off, on and off twice, and there should be some codes come up there. I'll do that again. One, 
two P sixteen eighty four and done. And we'll start it up. Well, speedometer's not jumping yet. Okay, I'm gonna take it for a little test drive. I got the uh, fender well all put back together and a couple uh, tie straps on the uh, new uh, control module and we'll take it for a spin and we'll see what goes on. Well I took it for a test drive and uh, it's definitely shifting after 80 kilometers an hour now. The speedometer is still jumping and one more thing I gotta check another day is this wiring right here I gotta take all the uh, tape off and see if there's a a wire corroded or loose that's right here uh, hopefully it's that and it's not the uh, solenoids on the top of the transmission so for now I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna uh, tie strap this I bought some long tie straps because this is going to be another problem just getting those bolts out of there I'll put two straps and I'll just cut it I got a whole bunch of bolts from the auto wrecker there's the one I just took off the van it snapped right off and then the problem is at the end they didn't put a bolt they just put a small little uh, uh, just a wire bracket that holds it on so I might have to go to the parts store and get that body bracket cut it, cut it off but for now I just got the uh, tie straps on it and I'm going to take it for a little test drive we're just stopping here now see this speedometer went back to zero and then it jumped right up see it's at 20 two kilometers an hour and you can see we're just parked see just a jump in there but the transmission didn't hammer at all did it no it didn't 